Christ and the things that he went through and he did not have to go through them and he went through that I don't know any other human being I do not know any other human being even though he is a spiritual being that is way beyond our you know our ranking but in his human form to go through what he went through why wouldn't you listen to him I can't think of any other human being that would do that for another human being I can't think of it maybe you guys can but I can't no matter how much they love you no matter how much they care for you I don't know any other human being that would do that and I know for a fact I'm gonna say this let me let me just ask this question do you think Satan would do that for you do you think Satan would would give himself if Satan had a chance you got Jesus and you got Satan okay do you think Satan's gonna do what Jesus did do you think he's gonna do that uh, I'm not a psychic uh, I'm not God but I'm gonna tell you no I don't think he is okay I know he isn't okay no okay so when we're trying to pick sides okay because that's what it's it's that's what it is okay it's picking sides you know you have in your certain life don't pick sides okay don't pick sides like in your family don't pick sides you sided with mom you sided with dad you signing with one child you siding with another they tell you don't do that but this is the situation in which you must pick sides so if you got Jesus standing over here and all that he went through and then you got Satan standing over there who are you gonna pick cuz I'm gonna bet Satan mm -mm, no because if he if he did why didn't he do it if Jesus standing over here and Satan standing over there you think he's gonna sacrifice himself for you I don't think so don't think so but this is what Jesus did so if someone had did that for you that's the person or the being in this case I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to so every time you find yourself in situations okay this is my twist it's obviously not in the article that's something that comes to my mind now okay of course I'm older now of course I've gone through some things but when I sit and I think I'm thinking you got Satan standing over here and you got Jesus over here okay and everything that's going on is his hands are on it in this society Satan is that's why I'm constantly saying Satan is not for us he's not for us he don't got our back way back in the way 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 back like so far back you don't see him okay he's doing everything to remove you from Jesus and his and his father but he's not gonna sacrifice nothing for you nothing for you so you got you got Jesus that went through something so horrendous that it's even beyond words but you're not gonna listen to him now you're gonna listen to the other person the other being over there who is doing everything to destroy you okay and literally the whole line of human beings I keep saying that but I feel like I have to say that because it, it kind of jolt people into actually thinking like okay we're doing this he's keeping you distracted he's him looking over here looking over there staying in a constant state of fear and you're constantly focused on that it's one thing to be aware of what's going on in the world but even in that and I've talked about this a lot you become so sucked into it and then there's this whole thing going on spiritual war going on and this being that does not have our backs he doesn't have anyone's back but his own back <laughs> okay and then you have this being who is the creator of all things that actually had his son and his son did this and he didn't have to do that he could have said you know what nah I'm good you know I'm good but he did and he went through something that as a human being I'm like whoa 
but yet we give him the back seat and we listen to the other one who ain't doing nothing for us but trying to destroy us okay guys so the last of this is some last thoughts from the article guys Christ's crucifixion is simultaneously if I say it here the worst and the best of all historical events this is in the article guys after I went on ranting about that <laughs> that empty tomb bore witness to the most amazing love story of all time so in this article they're even pointing out that this in fact is actually a love story hmm knowing what awaited all humanity on the other side was a reason for him to endure it now we too have a reason to endure knowing what lies ahead he may not take our distresses away but he knows our pain must be attended to and he will commune with us if you will in our suffering as we are formed into holy people who depend on who him knowing who we are and to whom we belong okay we belong okay so who do we belong to who do you want to belong to you want to belong to God and his son or you want to belong to Satan who's done nothing for you he is the reason for all of this suffering he's enjoying it actually see this is the thing that I pick up on now when I was younger I didn't pick up on it <laughs> you know and that and my story is not unlike any other okay as you you can hope one can hope that as time goes on if you are blessed enough to live lo- you know longer you know because sadly some people you know they die younger you know but um, you see things and you experience things and if you're lucky you can learn things so who who do you belong to who do you want to belong to who do you want to belong to we essentially belong to the creator he made us his literal I bring this up a lot but this is just so profound for me is that when they look at your DNA when they look at scientists have actually said that that his name is in our DNA his name Yahweh in our DNA he made us that proves his name is in our DNA he made us he earned that and then some the Creator it's because he what creates all right so it says remember the story I'm gonna wrap this up guys remember the story of the great master at the beginning okay the, the story I told you guys that seemed to me very similar not completely but similar to the latter-day saints I believe commercial the little boy being mischievous and he's there with his dad and his mom in the commercial though and this article is just the mom and then sneaking behind stage and then the curtains open and he's sitting up there you know tapping out twinkle twinkle little star um, and then the master you know the person they came to perform um, actually um, encouraging him and guiding him and telling him don't quit okay keep playing I believe that's what it was let me let me look yeah don't quit keep playing okay so they they urge you they encourage you to remember the story of the great master okay and the young boy so what we do in this life okay what we do in this life echoes forward into eternity okay Um, so let us keep our eyes on the higher purpose and knowing our great creator is always 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 with us Mm -hmm.